Hey guys, welcome back to more Paper Mario with Full Boy V5. In the last part, we got started going on our travels down Goomba Road back to Toad Town. And in this part, we're going to be carrying on. The, what did I do that for? But in this part, we're going to be carrying on uh, and finding out what we might encounter along the way. Um, in the last part, though, we got um, also two red. Uh, sorry, um, a mysterious Goomba bunch, a red and blue Goomba that attacked us out of nowhere. So let's uh, follow them because they went off crying. Oh crap, that is not nice. Why game, why? <laughs> and I also just want to say that um, yesterday, my half an hour uh, episode, I did that just to abuse the time of it. Um, normal episodes from now on will, this one and ones after, I'll try and aim for about 20 minutes because people who have just started watching my videos from my Road to Adventure or Sonic Adventure 2 Let's Play, um, my first Let's Play, which is Pokemon XD, all of that. Um, I could upload over 15 minutes for, and uh, most episodes now are around 20 minutes. Um, so I'm going to try and um, go for around 20 minutes again. Right, okay. What did I even say? Right, okay. Moving on. What's this sign? Goomba King's Fortress ahead. Okay. Uh, let me just check my health. Can I? Oh, yeah, that's it. Um, I bet there's going to be a heal block somewhere, but. If you, if not, I suggest you heal up because um, we're gonna have a not a difficult fight, but we're a harder one than usual. Wait, oh yeah, Fuck, I, have, I forgot how to play this game. Lovely. All right. It would have been a good idea if I'd level up by now. It's because I'm recording. That I haven't been this fighting this much. I don't think. Oh my god. Well, I have to say, that's the shittest fortress I've ever seen. King Goomba, help us! Mario beat us up! Hey look Mario, see that building over there? I'm pretty sure there used to be a bridge on the other side. I wonder what happened to it. That shaking doesn't sound good. Holy crap, it is a demented Goomba. So Mario, it's true, you've made it this far. I respect you for that. Unfortunately, this is as far as you'll ever get. Because I, the great and powerful King Goomba, will see to you that you advance no further. You hear that Mario? No farther, just not one step. Are you scared, little man? <laughs> yeah, you're scared alright. You wanna say you're sorry? Wow, that King Goomba is really huge. You mean, Goombario, he's very tubby. I'm sure it's no match for you though, Mario. Let's get him! Ready to meet my Ralph Mario? You better be! Okay, we, he could have KO'd me in one shot there. Beat him up, King Goomba! We've got your back! Leave him to me! Hey Mario, I think maybe we ought to take out the Goomba Bros first, don't you think? They must be pretty weak since we just finished beating them up back there. Yeah, so, um. They do have less HP than what they started out with in the uh, fight from the last part. Um, I'm just going to use Goombario to use Tattle on um, the King Goomba. This is the Goomba King. He's really big. I mean, look at him. He's really powerful. Max HP 10, attack power 1, defense power 0. He's the boss of the Red Goomba and Blue Goomba. Who cares if he's strong? You're much stronger. Gee, I wonder what he ate to become so big. I'd like to be a bit bigger too. Viagra, Goombario. That's what it was. Viagra. Okay, so a good little trick you can do here is instead of attacking any of them, you can attack the, the goom nut tree, which um, makes apples or something fall down on them. I can't remember. Anyway, let's go do that now. These, I never knew that until recently about my playthrough, so uh, pretty good. I do believe if you don't um, use that though, the Goomba King will instead, so be careful. I really should. Oh, I haven't got enough FP, have I? Okay, never mind. So this fight isn't really that hard if you use that uh, tree thing. Oh no, he does use the tree thing anyway. Okay, never mind. Uh, I don't think there's anything left on the tree, so we can't attack it again. Let me just check. No, actually, I won't. I won't risk it. What items do we have? Mushroom. Okay, never mind. That is one fancy kick, Goomba King. 
I, this is pretty random, but I'll tell you what Goomba fight I do love. Uh, the one in Mario 64, I think it's only on the DS version. Um, it's the one where you fight uh, the Goomba King with that little army of Goombas behind him. Danger, we're gonna have 5 HP left. Did you kill him do one damage? Okay, so we've got quite a lot of star points there. 30 star points, god, that's more than most we've got so far, actually. Okay, so now level up, as you can see, we get um, full restored and everything like that. Uh, I'm gonna go for FP because um, in my certain play, in my other playthroughs of this game, SP FP to me has always been the most important. Although people have just gone through the whole game, not even leveling up HP or FP, but just BP. What? What? How could I lose? Yeah, I knew we could do it. Cool victory. I said Mario, give us a thumbs up. Be a badass. Anything in this tree? Yep, a star piece here. I really need to start looking at my notes because I haven't done that so far. Um, there will be, because I think the door is locked, let me just check. Red Goomba, you're positive that you hit the switch where, right? Of course, King Goomba. I hid it in the grass outside the fortress. Outside the- You idiot, you didn't hide it in here! Mario will find it for sure! Oh, do you think? You know, you might be right. King Goomba, maybe we ought to try out to trick Mario before he tries to- Too late! It'll be behind here. And then you can jump on it or smash it with your hammer, but let's be a badass and smash it with a hammer. Uh, Mario, good fight and all that. I, I must warn you, however. If you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, understand? You what? You already pressed it? Oh crap, that doesn't sound good. Oh no! Holy crap, it's Ganondorf's tower all over again. <laughs> They're just stickers to put on the tower. Oh, Goomba King. What were you doing? Team Rocket's blasting off again! Look, the bridge! Now we can cross it and continue our journey, alright? Right, so now we've got that little skedaddle out of the way. Let's carry on. Across the bridge. Um, anything in that tree over there? A coin. I want more! 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 And jump! For my love! Jump! Okay, I'm not singing that. Oh, there's something around here. Oh, oh, what do you know? There might be. What's in here? Oh. Oh, a super mushroom. Well, you know, you see, you never know what you might find. A uh, super mushroom restores 10 HP um, instead of the regular mushroom's 5 HP. They're good at this point in the game. I will say. Actually, they're good at all points through the game, really, because, um, like I said, the damage is kept low, but still, if someone does 10 damage to you, that's pr quite a lot, so. Yeah, that doesn't look suspicious at all, does it? We'll save and continue. If only life was that easy. Get into space like that. Oh. Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. I report your evilness. Mario defeated the Goomba King. He's heading for Toad Town now. What? Unbelievable! What was the Goober King thinking? I used a Star Rod to make him a king because he begged me. And Mario whips him so easily. Oh yeah, I whipped him good. What a whim. Ugh, Kami Cooper, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, your vileness. Try to be calm. Goomba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter because while you hold the Star Rod, you are definitely invincible. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. Yes, yes, very good. By the way, Kami Cooper, the star spirits you captured don't have any way of giving Mario the power, do they? Please, don't worry yourself. Each is held separately, and each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. Who's the closest star spirit to Mario? Is it the one at the Goomba Cooper Bros. Fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Cooper Brothers defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. Oh wait, that wasn't her. What am I about? Hiya! 
Oh, these guys are so cool. Here come the Cooper Bros. Uh-huh, oh yeah, we're the coolest of the cool. Psst, Captain Cooper, are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Goomba King was gigantic, and even he could beat Mario. Sure, get real, King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total wimpole. Wimpoler? We're nothing like him. See, what we've got going on is the power of teamwork. Together, we can put the Hurt and Mario in seconds flat. Excellent, that's the spirit. Sell it, Cooper Brothers. Show our king that special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? Ooh, ooh! I just in my pants. That, this is, ooh! How'd you like it, King Bowser? How was it? Oh yeah, excellent, really. I'm not easily impressed either. Mario won't have a chance if you finish him with that attack. We'll take him, King Bowser. By the way, my Cuba brothers, about the captured star spirit I've locked up in your fortress, who's guarding him right now? Um, nobody, sir. You know, we're here and so... You idiots! Use your heads! Get back to the fortress and guard that star spirit! Ah, uh, so cool yet so dopey. Alright, so carrying on. We should be close to Toe Town now, I do believe. We haven't got many paths, many more paths to go. Let's see what's in here. Ugh. A sleepy sheep. If it works, makes all enemies sleep for a little while. I don't really like these uh, sleeping, inflicting or paralysis inflicting items because um, they hardly work sometimes. If we hit this tree here, we get a red spring. I don't know what the difference is between a red one and blue one. I think red ones shoot you higher, but anyway. Up here, there will be a chest containing. A hammer throw badge hits one enemy with a hammer, no matter where the enemy is. So, the hammer throw badge basically lets you use the hammer as kind of a jump attack. Uh, in fact, have I got enough BP to equip it? No, I haven't. Um, I'm going to keep my uh, badges as they are now. And here we are, Toe Town. Mario, I'm so glad you're okay. The town is in uproar. The prince is kidnapped. The very castle uprooted. It's Bedlam. I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save her highness. Well, that's a bit of a big request to ask, Toad. Right, okay, so we're looking in this house over here. We can't get that star piece yet, so don't worry about it. What's in here? The earthquake when the castle flew away was terrifying. Everyone, everything was shaking. The ground, the houses, I fell right over. It was so horrifying that I just like to forget it ever happened. Oh, busy, busy. The room doesn't get tidied up when my darling's at home. Oh, well, don't be the bitch. My dad works at the castle, and he's not home usually. But now the castle's gone, so he's at home. When I said I'm glad because dad's at home, I got scolded. What's up with that? What's up with that? <laughs> Princess Peach was captured, kidnapped, so I'm going to save her. But mum told me I had to be a good boy and stay home. How come? Ugh. Okay then. Uh, right, okay. I think I remember where to go. In fact, actually, let me just show you around Toad Town because the town is quite big, but um, I'll just show you the points where, uh, the points of interest. I don't believe we have to go here yet, but let's talk anyway. Oh, salutations. You're Mario, are you not? Of course, I know who you are. I'm the wise Toad, Rusty. Pleasure meeting you. As you can probably tell, I love books and read all the time. Because I'm so well read, I know all sorts of interesting facts. Whenever you visit me, I'll be happy to share all of my knowledge with you. Is that all your knowledge? Well, obviously you don't know everything then, do you? You just know your name and tell me what you do. Uh, anything behind here? No, okay. Okay, this is a shop. This is the first shop uh, we can enter in the game, I do believe. Uh, how many coins do we have? Just walk up to one and the uh, prices will show up. We have 47 coins. Uh, I'm going to buy a power block, uh, and I'm going to buy a fire flower as well. Um, I could do with some honey syrup, but I don't want to waste too many coins. Okay, so that's how it works. Um, can you sell items in this game, or is it the second one? Let me just go check. Because I think you have to go speak to him himself to sell. Yeah, you can sell your, you can sell your items as well, to claim. Okay, I think that's... Um... Alright, we'll just check it out later. 
let's see. Anything interesting up here? Oh, these are the, uh, let's have a look. Peach's castle flew away. How could such a thing happen? What? What will become of Peach's castle and the others who are in the castle? I'm scared, I'm scared. I, Felicity, I'm so scared. Yeah, of course you are. Alright, uh, oh, who are these two fellows that look highly not like toads? Above us, on the top floor, there is a dojo. We are here, always, training at the dojo. Unless our master isn't here, in which case the dojo is closed. A letter just arrived saying the master will return soon. We will train again soon. Yeah, so that's a dojo. That's a very good place to train. Although you can only do, I think it's five battles in there. Um, and you can't battle them again after that, but oh well. Uh, what's around here? Hey, what's up? Good to meet you, bud. Ralph's the name. Ruff? Ralph's the name? I'm still setting... Oh, I'm setting up a business. I'm still setting up, though. I want to see you back in here when we open up, alright? Uh, okay, never mind. A good um, place of interest that you're going to have to remember is this guy's house. Uh, it's just Total Newsflash. Princess Peach kidnapped. Castle Brewed. A few days ago, Princess Peach's castle was stolen. She was inside and is presumed kidnapped. The whereabouts of the princess are unknown, and where the castle once stood, there is now a gaping hole in the ground. According to the witnesses, the castle rose into the sky. As soon as we get new information, we'll post follow-up reports on this board. Alright, so I'm going to leave the rest of the stuff till, uh, in total until we um, actually have some free time on our hands. But at the moment, we're going to want to go through this gate here. Oh my god, where's the castle? Let's talk to this toad here. I can't believe that Princess Peach's castle was here just a little while ago. Wow! I was in the castle when I started to shake, but my lightning quick feet got me out. I know Luigi made it out along with maybe a few others, but everyone else was taken. Uh, you can go down back to Mario's house through that pipe um, where they first came through in the prologue as well uh, from Toad Town. So, anyway, you want to go this way, and this purple stuff can only mean one thing. Yep, we're now uh, heading on our way to Shooting Star Summit. And hang on, Shooting Star Summit. Um, first of all, though, before we go to Shooting Star Summit, you want to go down here, looking for something. Drop by Merlovy's, Merlovy's place. Merlovy. Oh my God, I get it now. Merlovy, my lovelies. Oh my God. Oh, why? Okay. I never got that before. Anything around here? No. Okay. Why is there a pointless bench there then? Anyway, going in this house here. I'm not going to spoil it, but pay very close attention to this case. This uh, tre treasure chest here, because um, in my other playthroughs, um, I was searching for it for ages, because uh, I'm not going to spoil what it is, but... Right, I don't want to talk to you, I want to go upstairs. Jump, oh, I'm not going to sing that again. Okay, and this guy's quite important. I'm the famous Merlot, shooting star summer. I collect star pieces, I have the biggest collection. Mister, do you have any star pieces? If you do, I'll swap some cool badges for them. How about it? Let's swap. Which badges do you want to swap for? Okay, so you can trade your star pieces here for some badges. Um, you can find some of these badges outside in the overworld by themselves for free. Um, but other ones, like the later ones down here, you can't find anywhere else. So, um, I believe that's the case anyway. But yeah, that's uh, what star pieces are for in this game. Ah, oh, did you change your mind? I see, okay. Uh, they must have another purpose as well, because there's a lot more than just the, those uh, numbers added up there. But oh well. Okay, uh, we'll go speak to her next time we enter this house, because we will be coming back at one point. Okay, so now that we've uh, got to Toad Town and done all our stuff here, and uh, found out what star pieces are for, I think a good, it's a good time to end off here. Um, so in the next part, we're going to be heading to Star sh Shooting Star Summit and finding out what is going on there, where all the action is going. So um, I shall see you then.